I'm Peter Doyle. I'm a supervising colorist at Technicolor in London. I color grade films. HDR has the potential of being a new language for cinema. And that the, the experience of viewing an image that has been shot and, and reproduced in HDR is unlike what we have been used to to date. That raises a, a question, which is what will filmmakers do with such a tool? because of the, the, the actual experience is so radically different to that of uh, a, a contemporary film making process. So to date, most HDR content has been an emulation of the existing SDR experience. This is a new aesthetic and I'm intrigued when filmmakers will embrace that aesthetic rather than try to just reproduce the existing look of films onto the HDR format. HDR offers a hyper-realism, an access to uh, the image and immediacy, which in some ways is exactly not what filmmakers are necessarily trying to achieve. Uh, but then in other ways, it, it's, it's a tool, and just as uh, Peter Jackson embraced, you know, 48 frame in, in high frame rate, it's quite exciting because it, it's quite radically uh, different. Just as when digital sound became a reality for cinema, there was the question of just how loud and for how long can you sustain a soundtrack? It's very much the same discipline in HDR, how bright and how long can you sustain such an image. You, you now have an ability to play with dynamics much more. So you can go from a very dark scene of like 10 minutes and then cut to an extremely bright sunlight shot and use almost that, that physical sensation. And that, that physical aspect of embracing the image has not been something we've necessarily had before. As with any new medium, we haven't worked with it for that long. So the sense of craft is not that, it's still quite new. So we're still discovering.